Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokalover, and yes, I am checking out Germany right now, and just kind of having a good time looking at all the different states or cities within the former German Empire. Something that kind of catches my attention is Kassel. Kassel. Usually, in German, it's uh, spelled with a K, I thought. But, whatever. Uh, let's see, this, what is this? Rhenish Socialist Republic. Quite a few cities here. Quite a few. And I don't know how to pronounce this. Aix la Chapelle. Whatever. Cool. Anyways, uh, it looks like White Ruthenia is not having a good time. Especially if they have to fight the former. Was this Reich's Pact? Or. No, these are like Middle Eastern factions with the Ottoman Empire in here. As well as Sweden and Egypt. Ooh, ah, another Federalist bombing. That sucks. Oh, wait, right. Wait. White Ruthenia is allied with the Russians. And it's a Russian puppet. Um. I didn't catch that earlier, but because of the way I like to operate my Kaiserite games, I'm just going to go ahead and probably give this to Russia, just because they might not have claims on this right now, but I really don't want, or I want to minimize all the lag as possible, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do, because I'm sure Russia will probably want to annex these guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do this for them. Also, I did catch something else here, in which it also ca caught my eye as well. Actually, does is the Ukraine part of this? Yeah, it's a Corsa. Cool. Uh, that should slowly help with the lag. Okay, well, never mind. All that was for naught, even though I just did this for them. So, even through my best efforts, White Ruthenia shall continue to live on. So, let's go ahead and get another research. Uh, focus. Focus, no. This is a research. I swear... I'm totally fine right now, totally not sleep deprived, but whatever. Uh, let's see, what could we use? Engineering? No, cool. Uh, I do apologize for yesterday's video. Uh, I did say that my internet was down. Actually, we could probably use this. That my internet was down and it took me a while to upload my video. It took me until like 1 a.m. to make sure that I could actually upload things. So that's why I mistakenly set it to be published technically today, but I did catch it about 12 hours ago, or whenever it was, whenever I didn't catch it, so. I do apologize for not having it at the right times, just my internet was pretty much out until 10.30 at night, so it took me a while to make sure that everything was okay, so I do apologize for that. But anyways, our goal, I've been thinking about, for the remainder of this campaign, is to ensure that we destroy the rest of the imperialists. So, in the last time, last episode, France, and the, with the help of the Union of Britain, the Iberian Federation, and the Socialist Republic of Italy, smashed most of the European imperialists, including Germany and the Austrian Empire. Now, uh, because of the way things are set up, the Russian alliance, the co-prosperity sphere, and the Entente are the remainders, really, the big three remainders of imperialism in the world. So it is, in my opinion, that our goal should be to take out those three. Now, I will focus a little bit more, actually, on, you know, North and South America, just because if South America were to be united, especially with the very large number of authoritarian Democrats and national populists down here, if they were to be united, that could pose to be a very serious block of enemies that we might have to fight against and help liberate the people. So I will also focus very heavily on South America as we watch the co-prosperity sphere, or I guess technically, actually, I mean the Third International will continue to take out um, enemies. So we might join the Third International, we might not. Right now, I am still reeling steel reeling from, of course, longest resistance, federal resistance, as well as economic devastation from the Civil War, so I'm really not inclined to join any faction unless we make our own with Mexico, and I do want to add Mexico, or give Mexico Costa Rica. So, within this episode, it is, in my opinion, that I should try to maybe take out Cuba, take out a couple states here and there. Just continue trying to move further and further south to make sure that both the North and Southern Americas, both North and South America, are okay. Transformative justice, very good, very, very good. Actually, defend the revolution. God. Uh, reconstruction is over. Oh, wait. So, remove reconstruction, gain, gain stability and political power, 
and then nearly full recovery from the Civil War. So we would essentially get 15 more percent stability and 10 more war support and 100 political power. That could be very good. And we would remove reconstruction. What does reconstruction do? Increase optimization building. So we would lose factory repair speed, which is fine. We would lose our civilian factory buff. Well, we already have over 200 civilian factories. But we would get rid of the debuff for military construction speed, which we could actually use quite a bit of. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to do reconstruction is over. Then follow it up with trying to get revolutionary education so we can get another research slot. I think that would be for the best. Cool. And, of course, we do need more political power. We get 1.27 a day, but I still want to destroy terrorists within our borders. With this one, destroy the longest terrorists, we get more recruitable population, which would be good. But I do want to go ahead and make sure that the North and South are okay. Ooh, the 1942 World Series! The 1942 World Series of Baseball is here. This is the first World Series since the Revolution, and attendance is skaha. Seven games of baseball, which is capitalized with the B, over six days as the Cincinnati Reds fought against the Detroit Tigers. The games are extremely close, so the final game is anyone's guess. And the winner is... Someone! Cuba. I want to go to war with Cuba. Or maybe, actually, Panama. How long would that take? Uh, 125 days against them. Cuba could be a good source of iron. 125 days. Uh, hmm. I like that Haiti is actually our own ally. We'll put it like that, yeah. Or ally. Hmm, Panama or Cuba? Well, Panama doesn't own the Panama Canal. And they only want oil compared to... Cuba, which has a ton of chromium, which we need for ships. So I'm thinking we actually will invade Cuba and make sure that, if needed, we could set up a <clears throat> a re-education camp. Yeah, a re-education camp down here in Cuba. And I've heard, you know, this place called Guantanamo Bay is actually pretty good for that. You know, you can say whatever you want about Cuba, but we might be able to lease some land from them. Anyway, Cincinnati Reds. The Reds have won the game. The final game was close, but Ernie Lombardi scored the final home run in the final inning, securing the win for the Cincinnati Reds and making it so they won the 1942 World Series. Go Reds! Great. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and justify on Cuba first. Uh, let's see. Good, good, good. And then I will continue to probably destroy longest terrorists. We really want to make sure that we focus on one group at a time. I think I think that would be for the best. Just because you don't want to be spread out too much. You really want to concentrate on doing one thing very well and making sure you're not too weak in other areas. This, In this case, the federal terrorists. But we, of course, will be watching the Third International and everyone else do their work. Actually, you know what? Can we support Eastern Syndicalist Unions? We might be able to. Hmm. We have four... Oh, yeah, we could send four divisions to, under John Tisa to help out the Indians establish their dominance in India, because they could be a good, friendly faction that could help support the individual worker. Oh, oh, oh. Feng Shin government. Feng Chan government. They have cores... Oh, the Hiroshima proposal. Oh, you know, As soon as I hear Hiroshima, I'm just thinking of, you know, an explosion. I'm sorry. Oof. This is a massive focus tree. I've never played as this country. Enrich the country? Jesus, this is... This seems kind of large. Uh... Yeah, what is this? Hiroshima proposal. Periodic deliveries of increasingly advanced Japanese weapons. Huh. Well, that's not... Uh, that would have been cool if they decided to expel Japanese officers or, you know, rebel against the Japanese, but very cool. Very cool. Oh, it looks like they might... Nope. I think... Well, who is this? This is the Dominion of India. Have not been encircled just yet. I mean, that's just fine with me. Which is totally fine. Fine with me doesn't even matter. It just depends on how well they do. Uh, we will continue to, though, destroy longest terrorists. God, trying to recover from this civil war is going to take so long. Alright, very good, very good. It looks like they are fighting, though. Hmm. How is our planes? How are our planes? Oh, cool. We are in West Bengal. We are currently... Oh, we do have a carrier with a few planes. With a few planes. we got five naval bombers and five carrier fighters on an approved heavy carrier. Uh, you guys, you know what? Go ahead and repair. There's no need to not repair, so we might as well go ahead and repair. Uh, for our subs, we've got 32, which is pretty awesome. I want 50 in each task force. 
currently we're making some more uh what's this coastal guard we're making a few more army divisions we could really maybe start or begin to start making some tank divisions armored cavalry eh armored divisions are really where it's at light tanks oh we really need to research some tanks I always get my games mixed up, because right now I'm currently playing with a friend in Road to 56, playing as China and Japan, where Japan did not strike China, but really actually left them alone so we can take out the Soviets together. Really kind of fun. A lot of... Actually, it's pretty easy playing as China if Japan doesn't attack you, but even if they do attack you, it's not too difficult. I mean, you might be sweating a few times here and there, but not too bad. Anyways, let's go back to India over here and help our friendly neighbors or friendly other people John Tisa do you have anything no level four though he's good oh Stone Mountain Georgia within the deep south and Stone Mountain lies a massive bass relief carving of three Confederate figures Jefferson Davis Robert E Lee and Stonewall Jackson the site was also the rebirth of the KKK many wish to remove such a blight especially as other monuments to the Confederacy are torn down however people are divided as to what to do about the relief some believe that should be destroyed. James Ford, in a cynical turn, wishes to chisel down the Confederates and replace them with Jimmy, Jimmy John Brown, George Padmore, Diego Rivera. The artists behind the re renovation of Rockefeller Plaza suggest a... Oh. Oh. No, that's not good. Cheap and honorable compromise. The relief is to be rechiseled down to replace the Confederates with the leader of Socialist Revolution. Whoa. Whoa, Russia. Whoa. Uh, Chisel down to replace the Confederates with the leaders of Socialist Revolution, including Karl Marx, Lenin, and John Reed. Huh. This is interesting. Very interesting. So, we could be the heroes of emancipation. That'd be cool. We could use a political power. Get slightly more stability in exchange for political power. Or the relief shall show the history of socialism. Hmm. Like, destroying the relief. I mean, we could use a stone monument for our own needs. For our own gains. And here we... Emancipation or History of Socialism. Well... Hmm. How about the Heroes of Emancipation? Because that still is more of an American thing. This is America. So let's go show the relief... Or the relief will show the Heroes of Emancipation. That sounds like a really cool idea. But this... The Russian Empire join the Entente. Wow. And I guess... It, Oh, that's, this is very interesting. So, we still wanted to destroy the Entente. But, they join, the Russia joined them, which makes it a lot more interesting. So, probably, I feel like I've said this before, especially, oh my god, this feels like deja vu to me right now. I've played as America, maybe in my own, my old, my own old playthrough as the Combined Syndicates of America, where the Third International won the war against the Germans. But the Russians join the Entente. This, I think I've done this before. Holy crap, this is, this is a weird feeling. Holy cow, this is a massive Entente. Oof. Yeah, so the Third International will probably go to war with the Russian Empire. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Now that really kind of throws a wrench into what I'm thinking of. I might join the Third International just to support the, the war against Canada. Since... Actually, Canada has a very small army. They have up to 78 divisions. Not that much. They do have a much bigger navy than us, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, let's see. We're still waiting for our guys to get over there. How is our Air Force? They canceled their lend lease. Um, that's fine. Yep. We need more carrier fighters than regular fighters, but that's okay. Ooh, better artillery. Very nice. 1942. Hmm. Seems like they, they want to add maybe a few more tech slots down here. Huh. 242 air doctrine. Uh, we need fighters, but we need a lot of stuff. research guns, and then we'll go with something else. I can't exactly remember what I was thinking of. But, ooh, naval bombers. Let's go ahead and put in, I guess, one of these. And some of those. Cool, we'll come back. We'll see those in a little bit, as I probably will try to maybe send at least one of those groups to India. We, get, we could definitely use some more air doctrine. Cool. Very awesome. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, they are attacking us. Good, good, good. Oh, as they are attacking. Actually, let's take a quick look here. India. The Bharatiya Commune. You have 
a lot of manpower, quite a few divisions, especially for being you know only a third of India, compared to the Dominion of India, who has the same leader as Canada. It was about the same number of divisions and about half the manpower. All right, ooh, nice, reconstruction is over, great. So we get more population, more stability, more war support, and a hundred more political power, which is absolutely great. Wow. Uh, let's see. Honestly, we could get more women into our... What was this? Economy or just the front lines? I think it might be both. Homes for the people. It really doesn't matter. These are all the same. So let's go ahead and redistribute some wealth. We will no longer tolerate a social order wherein men do absolutely nothing useful. Who, who do absolutely nothing useful can amass millions of dollars while millions of proletariats who work all the days of their lives secure barely enough to prolong a wretched ex existence. The end of the banks, corporations, and hoarders is finally here. Ah, very good. So since we have a little bit more political power, I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to go ahead... Let's see. Hmm, Marine Sim is very loud. But anyways. Hmm. Let's see. This will do eight states to rebuild the Rocky Mountain states. The West has Kansas by itself, so that's not worth it. Sorry, Kansas. And this has eight states as well. Let's do this South Atlantic states, since we are trying to destroy the longest terrorists anyways. Let's do that. Followed by destroy even more longest terrorists. Oh, these are loyalist. Loyalist terrorists. So, let's do both. Since we do have the political power. And I was, and I don't want to justify on anyone else just yet. Just because that would take an extreme amount of time, since we're justifying on Cuba anyways. Yeah, 185 days. Eh, actually, 185 days isn't bad. Hmm. Since it's going to take at least 125 days anyways. You know what? Let's do that anyways. Since we want to help out India as much as we can anyways. That would be cool. Uh, you know what? What happens if you help strike these enemies down? Can you help push? What if I told you take one of these guys and help open up this tile as another front to this battle? Eh, that'll help. That'll definitely help. Cool. Awesome, 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 yeah. Very good. Very, very good. Great job, guys. Helping out our allies across the world, or, you know, future allies. Awesome. We have made a full encirclement here, and these guys are gonna get crushed. Cool. Very good. So you guys are not d looking so good. Definitely want to help these guys out, since they will be fighting the Russians, but at least... Afghanistan is a good barrier between the Bharatiya Commune and the Russian Empire. At least Afghanistan is there for the reason. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. You definitely come over here to help them out as we get attacked again by a couple guys that are starving again. The USA Trilogy by John Dos Passos. Film montage, modern writing, or modernist writing, and the socialist spirit comes together in John Dos's Puzzle's new book, USA. The story itself is an examination of 12 Americans that lived through the Depression and Revolution. Puzzle's writings combines snippets of newspapers, propaganda, and the conversations he recalls on the streets during the terrifying months before liberation. Such an unorthodox and creative writing is usually praised by the American Writers Congress, but they have remained silent. This is due to the book's depiction of extra-legal killings oh, that took place throughout America during the Civil War by our soldiers. To the nominal leader of the Writers Congress, Ernest Hemingway, this book amounts to treason and sedition against socialist government. However, his decision to censor the book and detain Dos, Dos Pasmos was overruled by the Congress. Hmm, totalism. You know what? We're already 66.8% of the, you know, ideology, party ideology, or the entire government. So... I'm okay with calming Hemingway down just a little bit. Just a little bit. I could use 1% more stability. And, you know, we got to open up a little bit of um, our ideas to other ideas. Yeah, we still have 65.48% of, you know, popularity. That's still a pretty solid majority, so no problem there. However, I still just cannot get over how socialist or Poland socialist republic looked. I mean, they started off like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then they got Krakow, Lemberg, Stanislaw, as well as Bukovina. This is, in some opinions, disgusting, but beautiful. I, I like it. This is weird. It's just weird. I never see that. Anyways, we have free civilian factories to use because we built up so many. Right now, our rubber is doing okay. We could use some more chromium. But what I'm going to do is build a ton of military factories. Uh, do that because we could really use them. Uh, Indiana, wow, you got six slots? 
Uh, let's see, you're on the coast. Anything? Uh, Tennessee is not bad. 40, 40, 40, 30, 40. Mm. Let's do it towards the center of the U.S. Just because you never know if you might get attacked from Canada, which they shouldn't take any territory, but you never know. All right, next up. Since we do need a lot of military factories, so that's why I'm building a lot more. Um, yep, yeah, we're still just waiting on a lot of ships to be built. Yeah, and we do have quite a few subs, so that's pretty good as well. Dreadnoughts, yeah, I really want a Dreadnought out. Cool. Persia, ooh, Persia got invaded by Kingdom of Siam. Interesting, very interesting. You guys, go ahead. Oh, how many divisions are over here? Twelve? Dang. Dudes, nice job. Twelve divisions have been encircled here. Actually, you know, come down this way and come here. But actually, I only want one of you to do that. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. And we're still demobilizing, by the way. Just to let you know, we are still demobilizing. We do have some political power still. So we can rebuild some more countries. Or, I mean, you know, regions of the U.S. We're going to redistribute the wealth. We have nearly full recovery from the Civil War. Awesome, guys. Jeez, that's awesome. The strong longest resistance and overwhelming federalist resistance and economic devastation from the Civil War. Hmm, not bad, not bad. I really do enjoy, though, industrial juggernaut, so we can even produce more factories in states that otherwise might not. And you know what? I forgot about the planes, but not completely. How many planes can we send? Oh, oh, we can send a lot. Cool. Go ahead, send them over, and then do northern India. Actually, eh, yeah, all right. Advanced Competing Machine, very good, very, very good. Shock and Awe is done, 1942. We could do decryption, encryption. Well, we're using these anyways right now, and I really need better carrier planes and stuff like that. And naval bombers, of course, as well. All right. We could send more, but I really don't have that many more to send. You know, they'll be here eventually. Awesome. I'm only going to help attack these areas once the... Bharatiya commune decides to also attack. Or I could send him up north, but then the attrition's going to probably bite him in the butt. Alright, India, please attack India. Nice, redistribute the wealth. The next time we have one of these done is in 23 days. Not bad, not bad. Uh, supplies, pretty good. We definitely need more carrier fighters and carrier naval bombers. A lot of convoys, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You know what? What if I attack right now? This is probably a dumb idea to do. But the Indians joined in, so maybe it wasn't so stupid after all. Oh, man. This, our Indian ally, is very experienced. But so is the Shahamad Khan. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, John Tisa, you're doing a great job. Great, great job. Uh, you guys, this splitting up to 100 air wings, I think, is best. That's what I've heard. It's best if you do that, just because they can be out of the airbase faster but they can come to their location faster or more often i think or something like that anyways union vacations with the revolution one of the changes has come to come is the transformation in terms of vacations the workers of america rarely get to enjoy all the luxuries that were created and the progressives would say belonged to the people how many of the struggling masses got to enjoy picnics or visiting the national parks when they had to work as many hours just to survive and feed their children no longer will this be the case the various local unions across the country regardless of which federation they belong to have begun to take over and manage various cultural centers as well as helping sponsor vacations this is supported by the government at both a local level and national level as a way to boost productivity and encourage comrad comradeship culture belongs to the people Awesome, guys. Great job, John Tisa. You're doing a fantastic job. Hopefully, maybe maybe by the end of this Civil War, that's really, you know, an Indian Civil War, in my opinion, they will erect a monument to the American totalist syndicalists once this is over. That'd be really cool. And we have just about to redistribute the wealth. Ah, very good. Homes for the people. Well, this gives you both the same thing. You need... Well, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go with Homes for the People next. Uh, incorporate the Red Guard. Disband them. Mm. Coastal Forts. Eh, that doesn't really matter too much. Arsenal of the Revolution. Trade Convoy. Escort Efficiency. Not bad. Fuel Capacities can be really cool. Ooh, three bonuses for Naval Doctrine. And two years of bonus production. That could actually be pretty good, but we can wait for that. Since we don't have the absolute best yet, 
in terms of ship designs. You know, I'm just going to call it now. Ship designs are not exactly the extreme best, and it's lagging a little bit. So it's telling me, or telling us, that something is going on. Something very laggy. I hope someone's getting liberated, or someone's combining it to a bigger nation. That'd be kind of cool. But if not, that's still okay. Uh, some other games I've been playing right now. One game I have been trying to play, or trying to be, or was trying to be successful at, was Attila Total War. That Total War game is difficult, no matter who you play as. If you try to fight the Huns, you know, Attila the Hun, in Attila Total War, you're going to have a bad time, unless you're extremely prepared. And let's just say, when I was playing Attila Total War, I was trying to be as prepared as possible, but when you kill three out of eight armies, and they come up with another five, you just get smashed. Even as the Barbarians, not even the Romans. Trying to play as the Western Roman Empire in Attila Total War, very difficult. Whew, yeah. Tried that quite a while ago. Man, this must be one nation trying to really get released, because this lag, man. I love Kaiserreich, I love Hoi 4, but the lag, you can definitely feel it. Oh, peace conference is over, calculating the effects, and... Um... Ottoman Empire was annexed, okay. So it was the Middle East. Oh my gosh, Greece, you are thick. Oh, wait a second, hold on. Wait a beautiful second here. Russia, who is at, is now at war with the Entente. I did not catch that. And the Japanese now own part of Yemen. Or actually all of Yemen. Uh, Tripolitania, you are, oops. Part of the Entente. Ooh. Hmm, this is not good. Oh, is here. They're probably part of the Entente as well. I kind of like how thick Greece is, especially if they own Constantinople. That's very cool. That's a thick Entente. Hmm. Third International, I want to see if you can do well. What I want to see, though, also, is if Japan will go to war with the Russian Empire. I kind of hope they do, so it opens up a two-front war again against Russia. But we won't know for a while. Hmm. Do you have... It looks like they went with superior firepower, huh? Japan, please go to war with Russia. I want to see that happen. Actually, can Russia go to war with Japan? Do they have the Kremlin Project? Ultimatum for Galicia. Let's see. Oh, they have a planet plebiscite in Transamir. They can still go to war with Japan. So that'll be very interesting to watch. I kind of hope that the Third International and Russia, or, you know, the Entente, kind of have a stalemate. I don't know which side will win. It's very interesting, because I really want to help out the Indians down here. Let's go ahead and do that. Carrier fighters next, please. Thank you very much. And can we get indoor? Especially if we give them a little bit of a forced attack boost. So we're fighting six enemy Indian divisions with a total of 24 divisions on our side. Uh, air superiority is not super great. Not super great, but, you know, whatever. Really, the battles... Oh, wait. Aren't determined so much as to who loses more manpower? In my opinion, it really depends on if you can destroy the enemy's equipment levels. Wait, who owns this? The Commune of France knows owns way high way. Um, France? What are you doing with that? I thought you wanted to, you know, break the chains. Give it back to China. Oh, well. You know, you do you. Let's see. It looks like, actually, the Third International is pushing into Russia. Union of Britain is doing well against Norway and Sweden. Interesting. Uh, the Greeks, or, you know, whoever's in the Greek lands. Uh, Portugal declared war on the Mozambique. Wait, oh. Oh, oh, ooh. Mozambique got fed up with the Portuguese there. And now they're fighting the Entente. Well, good luck, Mozambique. Very good luck. Oh, Woody Guthrie, music tour. With reconstruction on the way, famed musician Woody Guthrie and his band, the Almanac Singers, have gone on a musical tour. Popular with many throughout the country, Guthrie and his band play old classics such as Solidarity Forever, and There is Power and Union. But they also have written many new songs such as This Land is Your Land, Ease My Revolutionary Mind, Tear the Capless Down, and all you capitalists are bound to lose. <laughs> That's a great song title. The t tour has proven to be widely popular in all venues that he and his band have played at. Great. Absolutely great, guys. Oh, what is this? Social revolution. Oh. 
I did not know Social Revolution would actually be that bad to me. Huh. Oh, well. well that's good to know. But it looks like the Third International is actually doing fairly okay. Also, the Union of Britain is at war with these guys. I could have supported the French a little bit more, but whatever. I really want to help the Indians out. I don't know why. I don't, I don't ever really help them out too much, but I kind of really want to. If I attack, the Indians will take my well, you know, support my lead. Yeah, I kind of like this. Mahendra the Pratap is doing good. We can pierce the enemy divisions. Oh, they've motorized, so that's probably why. Cool, very cool. And we can continue to rebuild areas here. Hmm. Well, let's see. Seven areas on the Pacific coast. Or Alaska. Hmm. Rebuild the Rockies. Yes, let's rebuild the Rocky Mountain states. That'd be cool. And we are slowly moving in. I'm glad that the Indians actually are taking our lead. So we can help them out. And, but unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today, as we will leave the Indian subcontinent and ensure that Cuba will be our own, under our own jurisdiction, as the time will permit. Before we leave, though, let's go ahead and set up our invasion first. Actually, I should have set this up quite a while ago, but that is more than okay. So I want, you know, I'll do two from Mexico. You come to Santiago, Santiago de Cuba, a rolling W division with the Minnesota Revolutionaries. You invade Guantanamo Bay, which I heard is a great place to be. Indiana, Rev Ooh. Indiana Revolutionary Guard and the 12th Infantry Division. Just all come to the same place. Come to here. I'm trying to make sure that we all invade from just one area, and then we'll push in from... We'll push in inland from where we're at and cut everyone else off that way. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. And I, of course, will see you tomorrow. If you like the video, let you leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And like I said, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully at the right time. The Syrian Republic, what the heck?